This is a blue mural board collie, and I was lucky enough to uh, judge this team when I was uh, in Italy last year. Uh, they had the European Championships over there, and I was lucky enough to be the head judge. And this was one of the routines that did very well. They're an experienced pairing, have been on the World Championship teams, European Championship teams, so they are probably, hopefully, going to do a really good performance for us today. It's been a great few days of freestyle in Hewitt's music. And if you are interested in having a go, then get in contact with one of the main clubs in the UK. They are Pause and Music and Canine Freestyle of GB. And they can point you in the direction of your local trainers or training classes. Uh, there isn't a lot of training classes about, but there are now lots of online training classes. So you don't even have to leave your front room. And a lot of the, what you're seeing here today can actually be taught in your front room. You need no equipment. You just need your dog, some food or a toy and uh, an, an enthusiasm for training your dog. And the great thing is that this uh, sport really develops the bond with your dog. And these next pairing will probably be a very good demonstration of that image of team performance. So this is Fly, eight-year-old board collie dog. They're performing to a, the Sleeping Beauty. So... I'm sure it's going to be an exciting routine. Will it take the lead? Beat our 25.60 of Fabio. In a faraway land lived a king and his fair queen. Many years had they longed for a child. A daughter was born, and they called her Aurora. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die.
able to fly there, performing superbly during that uh, routine to Sleeping Beauty. Some lovely sequences there when the hand was lying on the floor. There was a, a lovely sequence where the dog really had to be listening. There were several moves being done in close succession. The dog really had to be on it to listen to what was being asked. The handler couldn't move. She was lying there. So that's where the training comes in, that sometimes you might teach something and we're standing up, we're looking at the dog, but then you sit on the floor, you lie on the floor, and you ask the dog to do that same move. And because the handler isn't standing up, the dog has no clue of what you want from it. So all of those little things that you're seeing where the handler perhaps was lying down on the floor like this, okay, has to be trained for because the dog looks at you quite oddly to start with because the handler is almost like lower than the dog and so it's attracting the dog downwards and so the dog can't understand you're giving it a command but you're not doing what you normally do. And towards the end of this routine there was lovely use of the music. The music was very uh, orchestral and flowing and the handler wasn't necessarily doing a difficult move, the dog was circling and twisting, but it just suited that music really well. So I'm expecting it should score quite nicely with some of these judges. And here we are. So 24.20 into second place. So some nice work there from Fly, the lovely Border Collie from Italy. Now, uh, if you've been watching for the last uh, two days, uh, you will have seen yesterday uh, this next competitor because that's how they came to be in the international today. They won yesterday in the freestyle final. So it looks like Lorna and Nora are ready to go. They are running order seven. And as I was saying, they won yesterday the freestyle final. And that's how they've got to be in here today in the international. Uh, so they've had a very busy 24 hours. But Nora here loves her frisbee and I'm sure she's been promised extra frisbees uh, if she gets through today. They're performing to Into they a Fantasy. You can't do it. They tell you that you're dreaming. Give up. Touches you, you're way up high. No more worries, no more fears. You have made them disappear. Sadness tried to steal a show, but now it feels like many years ago.
Can the next competitor please come to the stage? to Lorna and Nora. The third time they will have done that routine in the last 24 hours, and Nora was on it again. Some lovely interpretational points in there. If you notice the timing when the music was playing, the dog was jumping the uh, violin at some point, but just at the right time in the music when there was an accent in that music, and that will go down well with the judges under the musical interpretation section and they uh, formulated a nice idea there of a violin contest and uh, Nora, the border collie there, was pushing Lorna into the um, stage and uh, they had a nice section at the end which would be considered really quite advanced where the dog ran forwards, then turned and then went forwards and walked alongside the handler but at a distance and that's what I was saying earlier, here we see it. Um, an advanced section where the dog is really having to listen and to keep that control at a distance is very hard. So I predict a very good score here and look at that, the nines already. This is going to be high, 27.67. So wow, that is a score to beat, isn't it? And uh, that's... UK gone into the lead. Whoop, whoop.